let's see what this is. Millwright's Notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation, Machine Shop and Repair, Cedar, Cedar Hills, Oregon. Who are these other people? <laughs> a picture of a knife says, for the neck. <laughs> Small cuts keep clean. Take this time, make it last. No want to get close. Feel every blow. A hammer. Well, we see what they were up to. No good. Creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspired terror. Cut and fix. <laughs> okay. That little, uh, little recipe book there. This must be how Stone got in and out. Frank Stone created a specific weapon. Let's see. What do we got here? Victims there. Found her. Found her. Found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. Duh. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert. Back off, man! Just wait! Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Finish looking around. I thought we all agreed we got to get out of here. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Calhern's son and friend murdered, say police. September 17th, 1962. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kush last night <laughs> confirmed that he is treating the deaths of George Calhern and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George, 28, son of Cedar Hill's respected drugstore proprietor, William Calhern, and his friend Joyce died after their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and now have determined that Mr. Calhern's car was parked when he left the road, indicating involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents the shock for us all. Coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay, but as in that episode when Miss Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Kush Kushish, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. Should we get out of here? We gotta 
door. Maybe we should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Shocked you can't move that or apprehensive. Uh, let's go shocked. I thought that was pretty messed up. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. Can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. <clears throat> we're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second wound. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Jaime, I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know these characters are kind of so, dumb. Should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? Confront. It's confront or flee. <laughs> oh. Well, that didn't last long. He did. You got killed trying to save Chris from the portal. Fate severed. Dun dun dun.
Beyond the gate. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. The Legion from Dead by Daylight. Still a little shocked that guy died. <laughs> See, that's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Twelve thousand one hundred and forty four dollars. Oh yeah, the key. Now where did we need this? You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. I think there was something back downstairs that was locked. So I think we go back down there. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything here. missing find the missing piece to the diorama so Pretty sure I didn't miss anything upstairs. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open?
need a piece that goes on there. I'm not sure where I need to look here. Do we go back downstairs or back upstairs? I'm not seeing anything. Missing something somewhere. Wait, did I pick this up already? You're coming with me, buddy. Oh, that's it. That's the piece. from the statue of that little dude oh yeah where was that thing was that right over here yeah 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 one hillbilly and his hammer reunited there's the key okay time to unlock that gate What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. And heads. Enter the correct combination. Hmm. I'm not sure what the combination is. R to select... How are we supposed to know this? Is there a clue that tells us what we're supposed to put here? I don't know. Okay, they all have different symbols, then I would have no idea. I don't know how I did that. It was how spider hammer. That was not so bad. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly, for sure. This whole place is like a film set.
Hey, Linda, check this out. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting in this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Okay, look... You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd-pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't say that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it, or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Heads. Well, <laughs> them's the brakes. <clears throat> I believe we had a deal. Wait. No, no. Nice. Very nice. Hey, worth a try, right? <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Worth every penny. The dredge is on the cover of that book. Uh, what's this? Is that dried blood? Frank Stone's helmet.
This is... No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... What am I supposed to do? What? Sheriff Green? I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out? Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Okay, sure. Thanks. <sighs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Ah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street. Bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so. Broke up. Kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band 
pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Second, my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mams. I'm still not sure I. I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Fix shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one, then. Yeah. Oh, no. Jaime. Money. Jaime. Money. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. Linda, he's not. He's not breathing. No, 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 no. No. Ah! How could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? We should find out what happened from Chris and Robert. I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. Oh, shit. Look! What? What is it? This is... This is like what Frank Stone did with his... With his... Oh, shit. This might be some kind of copycat thing. We gotta go. No, no, I can't leave Jaime. Bonnie, we gotta go. Right now. Run! 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 
gotta find a way out of here. I can get up there. That's my way out. This castle. What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? <clears throat> hey, slow down. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Oh, give me a break. Sam, you really think it's actually cursed? That's not real! How can you even say that after what happened? After what happened? You really don't remember? All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now? Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... no. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just... Tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right?
We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's... It's pure, malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stamford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <laughs> Fuck this! I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! 